Today I will demonstrate wiring a cable in a central office. The gray block here is a 200 pair wire wrap block. These were common in step-by-step -step central offices. I have a whole bunch of them in this office. I've already wired a 50 pair cable. I will be adding a 24 pair cable. The cable I'm adding is a tie cable to another block identical to this on a different aisle. I probably have 25 to 30 of these in the, my step system. From here, I will run cross connects to either this bank or another bank on this shelf. I do not expect anybody to watch the entire video, but I will leave the camera running during the entire time. And I will try to be as much out of the photo as I can. I have two types of wire wrap guns. I have an electric gun, which is used for the installer type application where you're going to be doing a lot of wiring. And I also have the technician wire wrap tool where you're wrapping jumpers down one or two pair at a time. These wires are being cut so that, and I will show this later, to keep them going down in fairly neat order. And because this is a tie pair, they're being wired, of course, in color code order. So I'm starting with the white, blue, white, orange. The next two pair will be the white, green, and the white, brown. And then I will drop down to the next row. So here's the white, green, white, brown. I'm also using a production wire stripping tool. Normally, when I'm running jumpers, I do not use that kind of a tool because it's not convenient. But for bulk wiring, it's nice. I have videos that show um, the massive wiring in the office or some of the other <clears throat> terminal blocks where there's massive amount of wires that's been cross-connected between shelves and banks. This particular cable is going to be used to get from a new set of first selectors that I'm wiring up uh, into uh, the wiring of my next set of selectors.
All right, so I have 12 pairs wired, which means I'm 50% done. I've just completed the 24 pair cable on this one end. I have the other end to terminate. So I have two or three four pairs that I'll be running next in the future. And then the remaining part of the block is left available for other cables if I need them. 
here is what the pairs look like on the side of this connecting block. Down here towards the bottom was the 24 pair cable. You just watch me connect. Here is a close up of the pins that the cable was wire wrapped on. Here is a view of a connector bank block that has two 100 pair cables connected to it. I wired this approximately 18 years ago. Here is the block that that 24 pair cable will be wired to. It'll be wired to the next set of pins. It's vacant. The top 30 some pair are already cross connected. And when I'm finished with the tie cable, I will be running jumpers similar to this on both ends. Here is the largest concentration of cross connects that I have in this central office. This is the fifth selector shelf where I have eight connector shelves tied down to it. 